All right, time to take care of some more Patreon requests. And this one comes from uh, Joel Davis, who asked me to do a Doctor Who She-Ra Princesses of Power crossover. As always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon where you guys can start sending me quests for videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, uh, yeah, before I forget, as always, hit the third tier. That'll give you access to Patreon requests, as well as all the other stuff on the other two tiers. But other than that, let's get started with the video. So this, pa so this video, like I said, is a Doctor Who She-Ra Princesses of Power crossover. So, so let's get started with the story. Um, the story in question is that, um, this also, if you're wondering which doctor, um, if you're as if you're wondering, like, which doctor we're using for this, uh, for this crossover, we're gonna be using the 12th doctor, Peter Capaldi. Um, Joel requested that, that be the doctor we use for this story. Um, anywho, so, this story begins... Uh, with the Doctor just out in space. He's just kind of like bebopping around the TARDIS. He's not really doing, you know, this is um, him uh, just when he was kind of like on a on his own for a bit. And during which, when he's just kind of like, uh, I want to be left alone, I'm just a grumpy old man. And then the TARDIS suddenly f gets rocked with energy. Um, it just gets hit with energy. And the Doctor's just like, what the hell, what the bloody hell was that? So he goes to his scanners and he's like checking it out and trying to find the source of the energy because it's like it was an unquantifiable energy. Like he just couldn't figure it out. He didn't know what it was. He didn't know where it came from. And now he's just kind of like, what the hell is th is this? So the doctor basically... Um, so, the bo so the doctor does find the source of this energy and it's a plan it's a not to it's a distant planet called etheria and he's just like etheria it's a world i've never heard of i don't like it when i don't know things i don't i never like it all so he's like all right girl let's see who hurt you and uh see if i have to put a foot up someone's ass so the doctor heads out to etheria meanwhile while this is going on um this, uh, while this is going on, uh, Entrapta and Hordak are basically, like, in the midst of studying, um, are basically in the midst of studying the new magic that has been brought into the universe. And they are basically, like, um, try, like, they're, it, like, it's unquantifiable. Like, whatever She-Ra did to bring the, uni you know, to bring magic to the universe, that shit was pretty hard to do. And it was, um... It was something that could not be, you know, something that that shouldn't have worked. Like, it was definitely something that in no way, shape, or form should not have worked. But yet, here we are, and it did. So, the, so they are trying to figure out, like, where this magic is going. Like, where could this magic have gone? And also, Hordak is still trying to, like, get, o you know get over being possessed by Horde Prime and also the end of Horde Prime and more or less try to like build a new life because this is right after the show's end so now he's just kind of like trying to figure out you know who am I now like what what am I supposed to be I can't exactly you know be friends with the Ethereans I waged war on them for e for years I also can't go back to the uh, you know to the Horde race because you know that's kind of fucked up. I don't know what I am. So, Entrapta is just like, I know who you are. You're Hordak, and he goes, I th like thank you, Entrapta, for uh, you know your vote of confidence. But like this, thi like this thing I am shouldn't work. Like I shouldn't be. Like I like I I know you call me Hordak, but like I call myself a monster. So while Entrapta is trying to cheer up Hordak you know, with science and whatnot, and Entrapta has no idea what to do. Like, really, because she's, she's like, ah, emotions, I don't know what they are. Here, let's talk about science. Like, let's let's chat about science. So yeah, like, Hor uh, like um, Entrapta really has no idea what to do next, because it's ne it's literally like, I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to sci try to see if uh, science can help me, you know, get out of this situation that I have thrown myself into. So from there, 
um, her and Hordak are just kind of like trying to figure out, so, uh, like, figure out something to distract themselves and try and try to get off this topic. But as they do, the TARDIS comes, you know, flying in, and the Doctor's just like, "All right, I don't know what's out there. I don't know what could be out there, and what kind of threat it could be to me and my ship. Uh, you know, me and my, you know, to the TARDIS. So I'm gonna go out there with." sonic screwdriver and you know in a big blustery voice and maybe i'll intimidate them out of this and he throw and like he's about to go outside you know he's about to step outside and then he hears like a knock on the door he's like well that's new at least it's not three knocks so he hear it's at least it's not four knocks so he like opens the door and there is entrapped in hordak Hordak is like trying is like you know at first he was like you know entrapped to get behind me you don't know who it is and he's like who the bloody hell are you? the doctor's like who the bloody hell are you and Hordak's like I could ask you the same question whatever whoever you are where did you come from and entrapped is just like and where did you get that beautiful box <laughs> and he's just like the doctor's just like mm, I you know I was following an energy source and I take it your you two are responsible and they're like well no we were trying to quantify that new source of magic and the doctor's just like <laughs> magic that's funny who are you what is it really and she's like no really it's magic our friend Adora um, was trying to harness that you know use that you know return magic into the universe and so she did and he's just like and the doctor's just like okay you clearly are you know un an unevolved race. And clearly, you're all, you're both too stupid to figure out that magic is just un, you know, uh, you know, unbound science. And the and Hordak just immediately go, goes for the Doctor after he basically insulted Entrapta. He's like, "You will never, you will not call Entrapta stupid." And he's like, "Oh, watch it, lover boy. I'm in a very sour mood, and I've, you know, when I'm in a sour mood, people tend to die." Um. So as and, and so. The doctor basically introduces himself and he's like, I'm the doctor. And they're like, Doctor Who? I love it when they do that. But as they're like going back and forth, um, uh, Entrapta and Hordak's machinery starts going nuts. Like it just starts going haywire. And they're just trying to figure out like, what the hell is that? Like what the hell could be going on for the, from the with their machinery? So they check and the scanners are showing that something is like draining the magic back like something is out there in the cosmos draining the magic and they're like oh no something's taking the magic and he's like you mean take the doctor's like you mean taking the energy source that you have uh, that you so called magic and they're like well who could it be and they're like and the doctor's like well let's find out in my experience nothing good comes from someone taking something without asking so let's go you know let's go introduce ourselves and they're like well we can't fit in that mach in that ship of yours and he's like i love it when they think they're smart so he introduces them, and it, and the the doctor's like, "All right, here it comes. Here comes the big words." And that's when Entrapta goes, oh, "It's it, you know, it's another dimension trapped inside a inside a massive ship." And he's like, "Huh? You're not just stupid as I thought you were." So the doctor is like, "All right, maybe I can figure out you know and follow this energy signature wherever it's going, and we can figure out what the hell or who the he or whoever the hell." has taken your quote-unquote magic so let's get going shall we so the doctor takes uh, entrapped in hordak um and follows the energy signature and it turns out it's nothing good because the part the people behind it are the daleks the daleks weren't the you know the doctor wasn't the only person to figure out this energy source and we're basically like you know with this new energy this this quote-unquote magic the doll uh, the daleks can be the greatest force in the universe and they're like the and trapped is like oof those are angry trash cans he's like the doctor's like you have no idea so hordak you know and uh entrapped is like well who are they and in hordak goes they're like you know they're conquerors they you know i don't you know it doesn't matter who they are they're conquerors they're killers they're like what horde prime is all, all they care about is genocide and death and death to anyone that isn't them and he's like Do the doctor's like you're on the money there lad <laughs> and it, so the doctor and trapped and hordak agree to keep the magic out of the daleks you know plunger and gun hand so what they what they do is like they they the, they get the TARDIS to board the the uh, the mothership that's gathering the the magic, 
Um, and they basically sneak aboard. And while this is going on, Hordak is just kind of like, he feels shitty already because he are, like he's already feeling like all of this because it's, it's basically like seeing Horde, you know, what Prime did to everyone. You know, what Horde Prime did to everyone, basically. And from there, um, it's just it's just a really big shit sh It's just a, let's sneak around, not get caught by the Dal- uh, You know, not get caught by the Daleks, and try to figure out how to release this magic. But Hordak, like, tells the Doctor, like, before, you know, I was freed, I was, I was one of a race of conquerors run run by Horde Prime who was clones and even then I was nothing but a conqueror in and of itself and he's like oh so you say so you think you should be punished for having blood on your hands well I can agree with that but it's in my line of work you know this old face has gone through some changes of his own and I can tell you that you are who to quote if I can make quote a movie you are who you choose to be and what are you going to choose here and he's like I'm going to choose to save Etheria, my home, with and be with Entrapta. And he goes, "Good answer." Let's uh, also her name's Entrapta. I didn't even ask. D you Ethereans have some weird names. So yes, they basically um, proceed to go deeper into the ship, find that the Daleks are trying to harness magic, and. Entrapped, it, like, do the Doctor's trying to come up with, like, a uh, solution on how to beat them. Entrapped has already figured it out and is, like, just backing up the ship, like, the Daleks' uh, engines and their core systems and more or less, like, setting the ship to self-destruct, leading to everyone being like, oh, shit, we gotta go. So the, the Doctor takes Entrapped and Hordak back to... Etheria drops them off and is like, I'm rather impressed by you two. You can come along if you want. It's kind of, you know, I'm just a daft old man traveling across the universe. I, you know, it never hurts to have company, especially someone with wild hair and, you know, you might stick out though, Hordak. And they agree, like, no, that's a tempting offer to see all the advent go on adventures throughout time and space, but we want to stay here, you know, and be with our family. And he's just like, I envy that. So the Doctor leaves, and Trapta and Hordak are all happy. The end. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much the Doctor Who She-Ra crossover. You guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of it. Once again, I'd like to thank um, Joel Davis for this uh, Patreon request. And other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.